Pinhead gets your life force, but I get the rest of you. Hold it right there. Hi, now you're wondering why I'm here in this form. Red, red, red. If you guessed it, World Domination. Today we'll be reading chapter one of my book, World Domination, by the song, which you've already heard. If you have not heard it, check the previous video. This goes out to everyone when I say Happy New Year's to your family, to your friends. We are seeing 2023 now. I thank God for that. But on to the video. Chapter one, World Domination. I never thought that the sight of people that's filled with absolute terror, running at full speed for their lives, with explosions at every corner and the deepest color of blood would cover every inch of the streets, would be so beautiful. I mean, look at this view! It's so... What's another word for beautiful? It's a... Uh, I don't know what better way to say it, but just look at the blood. If you look closely, it has some type of motif to it like some sort of pattern like i said beautiful but now this whole thing was such a sense of a plan for real like it got easier and easier and grimier and nastier and the most disgusting thing that mankind could ever see hear or be involved of and i loved it <laughs> every single second of it i live for this very moment the screaming for your life parts all of it killing is literally what i do best and I'm not ashamed. A regular moral human cannot stand the heat with all the mass dressing going on at once. It's so hot, when you try to spit, it'll evaporate before it hits the ground. Poof, it's gone. I love when they try to spit so funny. I'll be entertaining them while I kill them. It's so fun. I say it loudly. They cry I'm like, oh no, oh no, why? I never deserve this. No, please, not my children. Please, please. Oh well, that never works by the way. I'm pleading or no pleading, I'ma still kill your ass. I really don't care. It's crazy cause while I'm doing this, I have a simple 22 caliber on my left. I'm a lefty by the way. <laughs> a little fun fact. Anyway, I have that gun, right? And I don't need it because I have these tantrums to fuck you up. I just like to be versatile with my weapons, I guess. Even my tantrums can turn into anything I could think of, including a 22 caliber. Knives, swords, axes, spears, missiles. You get the picture. Basically anything you can kill. And I have a lame ass caliber because I just make them lose their balance by shooting them in their ass. Not easy. But it's not that fun though. It's like a couple bullets. I just want to rip their heart out and bite into it like a burger, you know? Something riveting. But I can make it more interesting by shooting them through the throat and mess up their accent, but it's already been done by the legends of killers. But I'm not gonna trip. That caliber took me through the hardest times. It was my best coping mechanism. I had my first heist with that gun. A true gem, for real. I mean, I have other guns, too. But I just don't have one gun. I got a bitch. It's a shotgun, but often referred as a girl, but I call it a ch Why am I explaining this to you? Like, y'all probably know already. Anyway, I also have my famous twin Glocks. Both of them are eights and legally shipped from Mexico. So I named them Maya and Miguel, like the show. Before you think some dumb shit, I'm not racist. The names fit perfect for them. They're special to me. But for real, it was a real good show. Very educational. 
Anyway, I remember when some man said he was quote unquote about that action. Same man looked shook and scared to death as soon as I pull up. Oh man, I remember now. That's when I first shot somebody in that shit. <laughs> it was him. <laughs> like he lost his balance like he was on a tightrope. Oh my God. In the booty and in the back of his neck through his Adam's apple. Crazy, crazy, crazy. The setting of that day was horrific. Something they, the people who witnessed it, would say about it if they were to describe it. Blasphemous and a true tragedy. I mean, I was causing havoc back to back to back to back to back. I made sure of it too. I didn't give a damn if they was mad. Some pussies if you tell me. So soft, like sheep. And word on the street is, carnage is in town. Terrorizing the premises of the premised. Not giving a fuck about the fucked up and just ruining mankind. Not just the town or the state or the country. I want to destroy the whole world. Dominating the entirety of life till it crumbles to dust. You know when in some action movies they start off with this ballistic part of the movie that's close to the end. And the next scene is about the origins of what happened or the backstory of the main character. That's what's going on right now. Um, yeah. So yeah, this doesn't happen until like whatever chapter. Don't skim or skip through it. You're gonna miss the good parts. Be patient with me. Like, hold up. Why am I talking to you like y'all my friends? When we're enemies. But yeah, anyways. This is before it all started. Thank you for staying and reading with me. Chapter one of my upcoming book. Just be ready for the worst. <laughs> you feel me? I'm serious though. I'm serious. Just be ready for the worst. Be ready to, um, you know, um, evacuate your homes. Or no, stay in your homes. Stay in your homes. But um, I advise you to stay in your home. Truly. And um, let's just hope you don't get killed. Little Mars, out.